Okay, so today's pepper review is going to be on the Georgia Flame Pepper. So let's take a closer look at the Georgia Flame pepper plant. And as you can see, it put out a couple peppers. It didn't put out a whole lot of them, but it put out enough. Let's go over the plant profile first. This is my first year growing this, by the way. And the leaf seems to be of a regular leaf type, but it's more of a long-like type leaf, almost like a very large, narrow leaf. And so... I did notice that with this plant. Now, it did drop most of its leaves, but there are a couple left on there, and it does have that strange kind of a leaf pattern. You really don't see that too much on any of my other pepper plants. So it is a little different in that sense as far as trying to identify it. The There is purpling at the notes. There's no purpling really at the stem, just at the notes, and that's kind of common. The stems are waxy smooth very very waxy smooth and here's a look at the pods coming off the stems out of the, they come out of the nodes on this just one pepper per node as you can see here so just give you a kind of a down view of it now this ain't at its biggest I'm sure if you had given this plant the best growing conditions I'm sure you would do very very well much better than me of course and you would see a large amount of peppers on this plant it produced even with very horrible conditions this year so let's pick one of these and oh it came right off take a look at this pepper now this seems to be average size they may get a little bigger than this but this seems to be about an average size and it's quite a beautiful pepper. I do not know if this is hot. <clears throat> First year growing. And I've been wanting to actually grow this one since last year. I've been looking at it. I'm like, no, nah, I'll hold off. I'm not ready for this this one yet. And I held off. I finally bought the seeds. And I said, all right, we'll grow it this year. And you can see right here. That's what it looks like. It's about that size in my hand. They probably will get a little bigger than this. They'll probably grow as long as six inches, maybe even see an eight incher. If the plant is at optimal conditions, you'll probably see them get quite big. But I would imagine this is probably the common size for this pepper, width-wise and length-wise. All right, so let's do a taste test. All right, so we're back again doing another pepper review. This time we are reviewing the Georgia Flame Pepper. Now, I don't know if it's hot, but just by the name, using the word flame in the name would tell me that it's probably hot. Though, they may have picked that name Georgia Flame because it looks like a burning flame upside down like that. So, we will give it a try and we will see if it's hot or sweet. This is my first year growing it. And from the looks of things, the few that I did get off the plant, the peppers seem to be around the same size as this, what you see right here. They all seem to be about that size. So, and that's not very big. That's about four, maybe four and a half inches. I think one's on there is about five inches. So I can't imagine these getting too much bigger than six inches per se. You might see a seven inch or an eight inch or oddball pop up, but for the most part, you're gonna probably see them about this size. And the width is probably gonna be about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter, something like that. And if you look closely, you can see that it's not perfectly round or anything. It's kind of convoluted or oddball shaped and stuff and grooves and things. So it's not going to be a perfect inch all the way around. It's going to be a little randomness to it. So it, my opinion is, is that this is probably a good market pepper. If you're looking to sell peppers at a market, a farmer's market or something, this would be a good pepper for you because I do believe, even though I didn't get that many peppers this year, I do believe that this will be a pretty good producer, providing you give it good soil, good nutrients, you water it regular, you give it steady sunlight. Uh, if you're going to have a cloud a year, you're going to get less production. That's just the way it works with peppers anyway. Less production, less, uh, less sunlight, less production. All right, so let's get into this and let's give it a bite. Right at the gate, this thing has a funny kind of a heat. You can see my eyes are watering right away. 
it hit me weird. What happened was I bit it and I started chewing it. And a reflex kind of thing happened because your mouth salivates a lot when you bite this. You kind of want to swallow. So I bit it. I started chewing it. My mouth salivated right away. And it flooded my mouth with saliva. And I swallowed and I gulped down some air with it. That will tend to cause you to hiccup and possibly even throw up. But I didn't. But the heat isn't incredibly hot on it. That's the thing. It's not incredibly hot. But when that happened, the really the main thing that really got burned was the back of my throat. The very tonsils themselves. And that uvula thing that hangs down, that part got hit really hard. Top of the tongue is slightly, slightly burned. Uh, maybe the tip of the tongue a little bit. Really, if there is any other burn, like on the lips or anywhere else, it's very light. It's almost unnoticeable. It did strike the back of the throat in the tonsils area really hard, very quickly. And it did cause me to salivate more than normal with peppers. It was just like, well, I just started salivating. And my reaction was to swallow it. And when I, when I did that, I don't know if I was kind of hiccuping at the same time or you know, kind of doing that, and it was like I swallow at the same time, and I gulp down a big gulp of air, and usually when I do something like that, I'm usually yakking, but I managed to regain control, I didn't yak, I did chew it up pretty good, I had to spit it out, because I thought I was going to puke, but I got a good load of the juice on it, and, and the flavor of it, and I really got a good, really got a good idea as far as to what it tastes like and stuff, so... I'm just trying to get through the heat right now because it was different. The heat's already coming down. Very quick rush. It's a warm, steady, hot kind of heat. Almost like a burn type of effect. Like it just, when you get burned, you kind of feel that throbbing of the, the heat kind of. It's that kind of a heat and it just lingers. But it's not a an intense, potent heat where you're just driven into, into absolute agony. It's definitely not that kind of heat. Sorry, I got to get you the right lighting right here. Got bees flying around me too. They like to fly up into your shirt. But we'll take another bite and I'll try to concentrate more on the flavor because it, it has a very nice flavor to it. And this is fully ripened too. The flavor is like a very ripe, sweet red bell pepper type apple flavor. Very sweet part of it. Not overwhelmingly sweet, but nice and sweet. You can taste it. It's like eating a giant Marconi or a carmen pepper or a very sweet red bell pepper it has its own undertone flavor that's kind of lingering around in there it's not unpleasant at all it's actually very nice and then it's got the heat that kind of comes in it kind of throws you off of focusing on the flavor so that heat comes in right away it's a different like i say it's a different kind of a heat but the flavor of it has a very nice flavor this would taste really good as a frying pepper this is really the kind of pepper I believe it would be great for. Any kind of frying, stir fry, doing steaks, you're doing um, uh, any kind of meat. And I always use, like to add peppers to meats and stuff because peppers really, peppers and onions, for me, it, you can't have a steak without peppers and onions as a side dish or fried in it or sauteed in it or broiled in it. you got to have it. It gives the, gives the steak a flavor. Same thing with, with garlic as well. But this is the kind of pepper I would want to add to something like that. Ribs or steaks or chuck or anything like that. It would be nice as a frying pepper. That fat would blend with this really good. You'd get a really good flavor out of it. Very, very nice pepper for that. Definitely a frying pepper. And I'm assuming they call it Georgia Flame because it's probably primarily grown down in Georgia. And I'm sure there's a lot of dishes that they would use this for down south. But... As far as the taste goes, it's a very nice taste. Uh, nothing unpleasant about it. It's If you're going to eat something like this raw, it's going to be warm. You may not expect the kind of heat that's going to come out of it. It might cause you to do what I just did. It just made me salivate for some reason very heavily. And my first reaction was either spit it out or swallow it. And when, I'm, when you're doing these taste tests, you tend to swallow your saliva because you want to get that full heat effect. And that's kind of gulped it down. I took air down with it and just don't do that. <laughs>
take a little at a time. See, let the heat hit you first. Let your mouth adjust to it, and then you'll be fine. I don't think you'll get that effect. But very nice pepper. I would definitely uh, recommend growing this. Um, it's kind of almost like a Melrose pepper, but it's got a lot of heat on it. Whereas the Melrose, I don't believe, is a hot pepper. I think that's a sweet one. I, I don't remember. But this one's definitely got some heat on it, and... As you cook with it and you're cooking with like cheeses and meats and the fats are coming out, that type of stuff will infuse with this and it'll dissipate some of that heat. It's just when you eat these direct like this, it's very harsh on your system and you're going to get the direct heat. It's when you spread it out and you're cooking, you're not really going to, wow, is it hot today? Whew, it's got to be like 85, 90 out today. I'm waiting for the frost to come. It's probably going to be like 90 today, and then tomorrow it's going to be like, uh-oh, frost warning, you know. And that's the end of my pepper reviews. But anyway, that's it. That's my review on the um, Georgia Flame Pepper. And I would definitely recommend it. Give it a go. If you're a chef and you're thinking about adding something new to your, your steak dishes or something like that, this would be a nice, interesting pepper to add to your, your menu, you know, how you would set up your menu, what's kind of peppers you know, make it look a little more extravagant this would be a nice one to add this is definitely nice i like the flavor of it yeah that's it that's your pepper review for the georgia flame and if you like this video like share and subscribe and i will see you on the next one take care